What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this Zombicide Black Plague update. I'm calling it an update. I'd like to call it a painting challenge, but I'm it, it's not because I can only do it when I can do it. I just don't have the, uh, you know, the sheer uh, firepower of painting challenges that the likes of someone like Jamjar34 has. If you're watching Jamjar, welcome. Welcome to this Zombicide Black Plague update. I'm doing this as much for myself as I am for other people. It's, it's going to be my painting reference as well, so I can refer back to it. So update one. I have primed, I have primed, now in the core box set you get two trays, on the top tray you, you get a lot of you know things on top well, but you also get the survivors and kind of like one of each of the zombies and the abomination and the necromancer. So before we go through, well I'll I'll show you the survivors. No, actually, I'll talk about the primers first. For the survivors or the heroes, I primed them in Vallejo Grey. Just normal bog standard surface primer grey. All right, so I wanted them to be a little bit lighter. you got to, you got to be a bit careful with your hand brushing this stuff on because it, it tends to bubble a lot. So you've got to be careful of that and get rid of all the bubbles. It's better for airbrushing, but I like uh, with a lot of things I do. I love I love to hand prime. Okay, so the survivors or the heroes or the characters they are primed in Vallejo Surface Primer Grey. The zombies, including the Abomination, but not the Necromancer, I have primed in Vallejo's Dark Yellow because this is going to give me a really great base for doing zombie flesh tones uh, later so i've primed them in dark yellow and for the necromancer i have primed him in german panzer grey again by vallejo i think most if not all of my primers are by vallejo and so let's have a look at the zombies first well we got one of each here so we've got this this one, this is the dark yellow. I mean, they are they were grey miniatures. Uh, they're all grey actually. Um, so we've got these here. Got one of the fatties here. So this is the dark yellow. Um, this, it's got runners here. Like I say, this is literally one of every sculpt in the set. Now I've got the other trays to do then. Okay. So that's there. That is their primer. It's the other runner. He looks more like a more well rotted um, person there. Um, he's got a bit more of a skeletal features about his face. Another fatty here. I particularly like this one because you've got the sores on his big fat belly there, and they're going to be interesting to paint. Uh, another zombie. He looks quite far gone too. And another one there. Okay, so that's kind of like one of each skip. He, he reminds me of like a court jester type thing, which he might well have been. And of course, then we've got the abomination here. Then I'll show you the necromancer, which is the German Panzer Grey one. I wanted him to be a bit different. So I've primed them all and, uh, and I've done around the edge of the bases as well. Right, so that's all the zombies and baddies that I've done so far. All they're all prepped, they're all prepped and primed, okay? So right, first up, this is we have Baldrick, okay? That's his zombicide card. I, these are his stats. And that's the picture I'm going to be going off of. So all I've done is the skin tone so far he looks fairly simple though um with gray robes and kind of like a bone tan color robes there and some and white hair and beard so i've only done the skin so far well that's that's what i've done and for his skin 
I've used Gilliman Flesh as a contrast paint because that seemed quite suitable to, to my mind for him. Okay, so that's Baldrick, did I say? Yes, that's Baldrick. Okay, I'll leave him to last. Right, let's do this is Silas. Okay, now this is his Zombicide card there. So this is the artwork I'm going to be going off of. So for him, I did a. He's an elf. Uh, I've done a bronze flesh tone for him. That's what I'm using as my base coat for him. So that's Silas. And we've got the rather strange warrior nun type here. She's just called Anne. <laughs> there. I was gonna. I was thinking of doing a lighter. I I can go lighter with the other layers when I do. I might do some further layering on on her skin. A lot of them like this one. It's just the face. So I, I am definitely going to be uh, putting some lighter skin tone layers on those. Then we've got the. Oh, I would say she was like a a bar. Keeper or something, or serving girl or something like that. She's called Nelly. There, that's her her card there. Oh, incidentally, um, Anne was also Anne Nelly is also um, done in Gilliam and Flesh for the skin. All right, so that's her. As is Clovis. So that's his card there. And again, we can see it's just the face, no hands, because he's got like um, gauntlets on and whatnot. And that's him. That brings me on to my final one, which is my favourite. And he's called Samson the Dwarf. And here he is. Samson has his stats. And there's his... Um, artwork which I'm going to go on. I think I'm going to try and put some blood on his hammer like in the on, on, on the picture here that's going to that's going to look really cool and for his uh, base skin tone I went with dwarf skin by game colour hey, you know so that's where I'm at so far with them so I it took me a hole on the bench just to prime these guys because I was taking care to get rid of the bubbles um, and I was able to do a, a painting with patrons to, to get the uh, the other the other ones all um, painted up as well uh, primed rather Oop, there we go so so there they are that's that's where I'm at with it and um, yeah, so that's the primers used so far. So it's not a lot of paints gone on at the moment, but tomorrow's another day and who knows where we'll be at. So thanks very much for watching guys. Um, shout out to Jamjar34. Uh, watch, go watch his painting challenges. He just, he just, he's a machine man. He just zooms through them. And like I said, I wish I had that kind of energy. I really do. Yeah, go over and watch that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember all brushes lead to all. Give me a like or a dislike. Don't matter which. Share, subscribe, all the usual good stuff. Check out my Patreon. Do it. Do it now. You'll get access to exclusive videos. And there will be some exclusive Zombicide stuff in the future. Try and get a closer in shots of these. You can tell which ones have been contrast painted on the skin. Uh, which ones haven't but he is definitely my favorite uh character i wonder if there are any more dwarves in zombicide black pig anybody know let me know because oh, i think dwarves are awesome remember all brushes to all my friends i'll see you on another video bye for now bye bye